This is a Women of Honor match. It is set for one ball. Introducing first wrestling out of Cincinnati, Ohio, the gatekeeper, Kelly Klein. For over two years, Cole Kelly Klein, the gatekeeper, was not pinned nor submitted. Kelly Klein's extended streak of dominance put Women of Honor on notice. And a veteran of over a decade coming to Women of Honor right at the peak of her career. She was one of the best kept secrets here in the Midwest, but truly blossomed into a star. The rise of her star coincided almost parallel with one of the founding mothers of Women of Honor, the virtuosa Diana Perrazzo. The two have absolutely hated each other and have had three high profile matches. In those matches, Kelly Klein is two and one. But this is the match that's been circled on calendars, Cole, as the war to settle the score. Chicago, there's no better battleground for these two to duke it out. Who put it? Oh, wait a minute. Plus, we got a package down New Jersey. Diana Perrazzo. She don't look like she's coming for a wrestling match, Cole. She's looking like she's coming to fight. Oh, gets Kelly. And now Kelly and Deanna. She's determined to get after Kelly, that's for sure. Doing anything she can. And you're right, no ring jacket, no attire. Come as you are. Oh, it's not about the show, it's not about entertainment. It's about getting to Kelly Klein. Deanna Perrazzo has control, and this is rare. So rare to see Kelly Klein dominated like this. But Deanna Perrazzo coming in, firing the first shot. Of course, Deanna Perrazzo picked up her victory, the most recent between the two, in West Palm Beach, Florida, in an honor club bout. Ooh, had bound by honor. But after the bout, these two women could not keep their, their hands off of each other. That wasn't the end of it. And here tonight, this has the feeling like anything could happen between these two. Side rushing leg sweep from Diana Prazo. Holds on to that arm. Yeah, going right for it. Looking for that Fujiwara armbar, her signature finishing move. Wait a minute, roll up. You notice she rolled Kelly away from those ropes. Great ring positioning by Diana, but allowed Kelly an opening. And this match is a continuation of all the great women of honor action we've seen. We saw Sumi's first title defense against Jenny Rose. We've seen great matches with Karen Q, Tennille Dashwood. Oh, and these two are two of the very best. And Cole, of course, we have the great news. Talent from Stardom will take part in an eight-woman tag team match at best in the world. How exciting is that? It's amazing news. Those Stardom athletes have swept the Japanese wrestling scene making their impact in America, too. And that's one of Kelly's signature victories, defeating the ace of stardom, Mayu Iwatani. And she is well on her way, as this has gone to the outside and defeating Tiana Perrazzo once more. You know, they call Kelly the gatekeeper. They might as well call her the grave digger, just burying everybody. Anyone in her past, she's gonna bury. Body after body, sending them down, dominating this scene. Except maybe one, Tiana Perrazzo. Now Perrazzo able to defeat Kelly Klein, maybe figured out the formula that Women of Honor stars have been looking for for so long. Now Kelly just driving Deanna's head into the mat. And you would think this fight element might benefit Deanna, who had that no DQ victory back in Dallas over Karen Q. But really right now, Kelly Klein found an opening and is taking control of this match. In the clutch, Deanna trying to fight out of it. She does. Close line in the corner. Sizes her up, charges in. Oh, back elbow rocks Tiana. Oh, wait a minute. Look at that. Is it Cobra clutch style move? Using the corner for extra levers there, Colt. Those big legs of Kelly allow something like that to happen. A known power lifter, constantly in the gym.
despite some short bursts of energy. Deanna Perrazzo fighting for her life, Colt. She sure is. Front face lock here from Kelly, submission master. As that end of the match guillotine choke, Deanna has the Fujiwara armbar she is a master of. Look at this curl, knees from the curl, hot position. Yeah, driving right, them. Right to the temple. She is a beast in there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. right to the spine. Going for the cover, one, two. Kick out from Deanna. Of course, we are one week, week away from state of the art. Those events airing live on Honor Club this Friday, this Saturday. ROHwrestling.com for all the details. We know the women of honor will be in action including the debut of Thunder Rosa in Texas. Oh, big forearm by Deanna. And another from Kelly Klein. Ooh, Deanna staggers Kelly. And this has been a fight, Colt, nonstop. A bit of a deviation from what the first match brought us, more of a submission-based match, and even the second match. But since then, these two have had it out for one another. She holds on, decides not to go for that pin, though. Maybe wants to dish out a little more. Yeah. Kelly trying to break the hands of this German, grabs the wrist, tucks the clothesline. There's Deanna another one. Got another. Referee Mike Posey in great position to count the cover if there is one at that time. Just lets her go. Folds her over like a placemat. Deanna back in control for the first time in quite some time here, Colt. Kelly's been favoring that arm. Fujiwara's the smartest move to go for. Yeah, Deanna trying for power moves at this stage of the match. Might want to go for things like this. Rolls her up, rolls her through. Kick to the midsection. And, ooh! Floating brain buster, cover one, two. Ooh. Holds on to that arm, oh, go! Great strategy. From the Virtuosa. A great one, two. If one doesn't work, two's right there for you. Looking for the ropes. Nowhere to go. There you go. Got the ropes. She's got till five to break the hold. Breaks at four. Bringing Kelly back to her feet. Oh, night fetch chop. Square across the chest. And another. Ooh, going right for it, continuing. Look at Kelly covering up, blocking Deanna. She doesn't want any more of that. Off the rope she goes, head scissor. Oh, looking for the Fujiwara. Look at that, Kelly grabs her bearings. She's got Deanna too, sends her into the post. That's that size advantage of Kelly Klein, able to maneuver Deanna any which way she wants to. Charging in. Gets her with a close line back elbow. Connects with another. Ooh, Deanna blocking a bulldog attempt there. Yeah, staying, staying in home base almost. And one kick drops Kelly Klein down. Didn't expect to see that. We're in the late stages of the match here, Colt. Kelly so strong, so powerful. Surprised Deanna's strategy has been working as well as it has, bringing the fight to a fighter like Kelly Klein. Well, Kelly sees that Deanna wants to stay in that corner. She puts her up top, maybe going for a superplex, maybe a Rana, although I don't know if that's in her arsenal. Forearm delivers. Deanna staggered, connects with a kick. Oh, it's that fall away slam from the second, oh, maybe. Oh, looks like it. There's the power horse. Look at this. Deanna knows what's coming, maybe trying to fight out of it. Yeah, but look out, nowhere to go. It's in the cards. Kelly looking to make the cover. Flips the leg, one, two. Oh, just a two count. And I know Kelly's tired right now, she's worn out, but you need that deep, deep cover if you want to put away a competitor like Deanna Perrazzo. I agree 100% Colt, as Kelly not letting go of the wrist. Something in mind here. Now a firewoman's. Deanna fights down to her feet. Oh, oh no! Referee Mike Posey is down. Deanna was just trying to push her out of the way. Posey happened to be in the way. Cutter! 
Cover! Cover! And that's One, the kind of cover two, you need! Three, four. That's the cover you need, Ian! This has got to be so frustrating for Perrazzo. Who, we've seen this play out before. She's tapped out Klein with the referee down. She's pinned her with the referee down. She's done it again here. Well, get up then, Posey. Deanna, you gotta stop paying attention to the referee yeah, now. Kick to the midsection. Oh, wait a minute. Drops the center of gravity. Prevents the suplex. Fighting out of it. Look at that. Going back to the arm. Could it be Fujiwara? Fujiwara! It's locked in! Yeah, but she usually pumps it in. Oh, wait a minute. Great counter! Great counter for the gatekeeper! Oh! End of the match and she taps! She taps out! Kelly Klein is your victor! The winner of the match by submission, the gatekeeper, Kelly Klein! And as we take a look at the replay, called the submission experts dueling here in Chicago. Kelly reverses that Fujiwara armbar, instead connects with the end of the match, and that is the difference. And you have to think, Kelly Klein's got to be on Sumi Sakai's doorstep. Well, that was a big victory for Kelly. She needed it. Look at Deanna, not happy. Kelly turned into that choke and then put all of her body weight on the chest and neck of Deanna.